Shiki is an amazing show that came out in 2010 and it's another one of those underrated masterpieces of the century. Having said that, there are many videos on YouTube already talking about Shiki's various themes. These include human struggle for survival, the tragedy of genocides and war, its efficient use of psychological horror, and the futility of vengeance, to name a few. For this reason, I want to diverge and talk about two characters that left a strong impression on me and throughout the show I was secretly rooting for them. One of them is the Chad, Dr. Toshio Ozaki, my favorite character. <laughs> I'm sorry, um, back to the video essay. You see, I feel like the doctor doesn't get as much attention as he should. I mean, this man literally turned the tide against the cheeky by his clever manipulation and cunning. Sure, everything burned in the end, but he didn't willingly accept the villagers' fate without putting on a fight. One of my favorite scenes in the show is when he realizes that the cheeky are real, that it's not an epidemic. And even then, he stays true to science. He finds a live specimen, studies it, kills it, and moves on and gets ready for the right time to strike, all while lighting a fucking cigarette. Dr. Ozaki represents the front of reason and science. He knew he needed to prove that the Shiki were real somehow, and he knew one of the Shiki, Chizuru, was easy to persuade, and he used that to his advantage. When the villagers find out, he doesn't hesitate, and although some would say that his actions weren't really his since he had been possessed by Natsuno, a vampire werewolf that also hates vampires, he genuinely smiles because as a doctor, he knows he did his job in finding the reason for all the deaths. For Christ's sake, the man dissected his own wife just to enhance his knowledge and be more prepared to face the Shiki. And overall, I think that makes his character even more brutal. When his own mother was killed, he didn't even flinch. It was this weird combination of good and evil within him that made him, in my opinion, a memorable character. The other character that I felt empathy for was Nao Yasumori. This is an interesting character because she doesn't appear as often as the other main protagonists of the show, yet all it took was one episode to make me feel for her. One of the things the show does well is constantly tie the supernatural with the real, and her character arc is no exception. She wanted to be with her family, she wanted to be happy, as she had a rough upbringing it was thanks to her husband that she got all the love in the world. One must only feel sorry for her when all of that was completely lost when she became a Shiki. Abuse, neglect and loneliness are probably the worst nightmares that a human being can experience when they're growing up. And all of this misery only leads to more misery later on in life, even when the person feels like they got over it. At the very end, she admits she only wanted to be turned back to human. Now teaches us how important it is to be loved by others and the long-lasting effect of an affectionate family and great friends. <laughs>